Okay, so this is going to be a tutorial for the triple, uh, tutorial in quotes, this is really hard and I don't recommend going for it, but this is going to show you all the inputs for the triple overflow and the bagel storage that's required for the fastest version of GPC. This is really fucking hard. I would recommend probably not going for it, but some people have expressed interest, so here's how it works. So you start off with just um, having text up while you're moving, and that's just a normal overflow. And then you want to use Windows specific tricks that I don't know how they work to go ahead and grind out on this specific spot right here where Frisk is right now. You want to grind out an encounter. Obviously, since I'm on Linux, I can't do that. So I just have Frisk shake back and forth. But for you, you'd want to use that trick that lets you grind without moving. I don't know how it works. Anyway, once that's done, once you get an encounter, you want to close the text and open the punch card. And this can theoretically be done super fast, but doing so is difficult. Um, I should clarify, this can theoretically be done too fast and fail, but that's really difficult. You would need a, um, you would need a high BLCon and you would need to basically do everything perfectly in order to go too fast. Um, so I'm not, I wouldn't worry too much about that. But anyway, the hardest part of the trick is right here. And that's that in order to reach all of the stuff for the triple overflow, you need to press enter to close the punch card right as the screen turns black. You cannot alt space buffer that, you have to predict it. I'm sure there's tricks around alt space buffering the um, BLCon itself so that you can at least get in the ballpark, but this is the hard part. Um, because there's no queue, you just have to be on the right frame and it's random every time. So this is really the part of GPC that makes it eh, probably not viable. Um, but the rest of it is not too bad. So once that's done, you want to make sure you're holding right before you close the punch card. So you press left and then switch to holding right. And then you close the punch card. And then this up press right here is frame perfect. If you're a frame early, then you can see you don't hit this bottom um, interactable and so you won't be able to interact with it. If you're a frame late then you double overflow and that's really bad. Or double overflow is not the right word but you interact with the bottom twice which you really don't want to do because then they won't both give you your menu back and it's a whole thing. So you need to you need to press up frame perfectly and then frame perfect overflow this needs to be done at exactly the right time and it needs to be done perfectly and then close the punch card and interact with the top um, of the sentry station. And that does need to be done frame perfectly. That looks like this. These are the frames where you need to press everything. But you can also mash it. I'm not sure which one would be more consistent with um, 1.0 mashing. Um, but this part, it can be done with... Um, It can be done with the auto masher if you're using the auto masher. Um, but yeah, as long as you hit enter on this frame and this frame, it doesn't really matter what you do with the other frames. So that's the bagel storage. It's very difficult. But then, or no, that's not the bagel storage. That's the triple overflow. This up and coming is the bagel storage. So for the bagel storage, what you need to do is you grind out an encounter. you once you see the blcon appear you want to alt space buffer until you see the battler appear and then you want to quickly you have 22 frames to do this close the text mash through exactly three text boxes here until it says i bet it was this very famous royal guardsman open the menu and select the punch card hold upright no, open the menu to the items part, hold up right, select the punch card, advance this text, and then alt space. And then you want to alt space buffer until you hit this point where the soul is right there. And then you want to press enter. And the whole time you should still be holding up right. 
And then, normally you would die at this point, but to show off uh, that it actually worked, I'm just gonna flee and enter the room. You'll see the punch card is up and the choicer is up. So I can close the punch card and make the choicer appear. Um, there's something, there's some weird stuff to do with menu buffering. Um, I'm not sure exactly how that'll work. I think that you have a high enough kill count that is fine, but I'm going to look into that and all the surrounding stuff only if somebody actually wants to try this. And I'll only believe they want to try this if they actually get semi-consistent at the triple overflow.